Fashola. So if our leaders are leading us right, I'm not saying Fashola is perfect, by no means. But when we see a leader taking us, we know. We know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Once again, a round of applause to Simon Kelly. So it is with pleasure that we introduce to you our final speaker for today's um, event. Professor Yemi Shibajo is a professor of law and a senior advocate of Nigeria. He's a long time Attorney General, Commissioner for Justice in Lagos State, and he pastors the Old Tree House of Prayer for All Nations, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Please join me and welcome to the platform Professor Yemi Oshibajo. first part of this is an animated presentation for about 10 15 minutes thereafter uh, i'll add the second part so if uh, we will just watch the first part Family need to live 
you will fall into this activity. The basic requirements of course are income, housing, and health services. But therefore earns say about 20,000 Arab months. This is a measure of Nigeria's GDP per capita for 2012. It stands at about 1,555 US dollars. And the is fortunate because official statistics indicate that at least another 20.3 million other Nigerians between the ages of 15 and 45 are unemployed. In fact, a senior official in Nigeria's ruling party puts the unemployment rate at 80%. The Federal Ministry of Youth Development states that as of, 20, of, as of 2008, Nigeria generated about 4.5 million new entrants into the labor market annually. The figure it stated was made up of 1 million people out of the school system, 2.2 million primary school leavers not proceeding to secondary school, and 1 million secondary school leavers not proceeding to the tertiary level, and another 300,000 university graduates or graduates of other higher institutions finding no placement anywhere for productive engagement. If a doctor has malaria, he has to go to one of the 22 facilities available to every 100,000 Nigerians. To consult Dr. Hassan, one doctor who must attend to 16,427 other Nigerians because of our dismal doctor to patient ratio. Adolfo has no form of health insurance, as only 1.5% of our population have any coverage, so he must pay for care and medicine for his 20,000 naira salary. He gave his lucky to meet Dr. Hazel because about 75% of Nigeria have no access to primary health care. One of his pregnant wife, Joy. The risk of Joy dying from childbirth is 1 in 18 compared to 1 in 61 for all developing countries and 1 in 29,800 for Sweden. One Nigerian woman dies in childbirth every 10 minutes. On the whole, to 5,000 women die annually from childbirth in Nigeria. That is, 150 women every day. Someone has described the situation as comparable to a Boeing 737 jet filled with pregnant women crashing fatally every single day. Would their unborn child fare any better? Well, 861,000 children under the age of five died in Nigeria in 2010. 197 out of every 1,000 Nigerian babies die before they are five years old. So your guess is as good as mine as to what, as to what will happen to the baby that Odafe and his wife give birth to. What about Odafe's housing conditions? Just like 59.2% of other Nigerian households, Odafe, his wife, and three children live in a single room. They are fortunate, as an estimate of 4.4 million Nigerians will be homeless by 2015. And that's official. Odafe and his family drink water from rainfall, wells, and streams, much like 40.6% of Nigerian households do. But only 6.9% of households in Nigeria have access to treated pipeline work. Even down to basic sanitation, such as toilet facilities, most still use heat latrines, no modern water flushing facility, is the luxury only 11.6% of Nigerian households can afford. So, what happens 
when the Joshua Jr. goes to school. It's classroom in the public school. 